Yes, ma'am. What a basketball game. We'll take a win any way we can get one. But I will say this, I thought our team really performed well in spurts. We really, really did. You know, one of our goals coming in to the game, obviously we wanted to out-rebound them by 10. We out-rebound them, what, by 11, I think. The other thing that we had talked about is it's important that we get four players in double figures. Um, and we were able to get that, to be able to share so people don't just lock in on Dom. The other thing is we talked we talked to, Doug, to Ja'Cory Bracey after her last game. She and I talked, and I said, so that's what I expect every time. That's why I've been on you is because you should be able to do that every time. And she did that again tonight. Malia's always, I'm always in her ear about a double, 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 double. And now she's had back to back games that she's had that. Um, this week's practices have been really pretty good. I think they've really earned it. Obviously some have worked a little harder than the others. Um, but again, it's been a good team week for us. Um, going back into school, you don't ever know how it is, getting back in rhythm, being tired. Uh, but I must say, we're really proud of how they came tonight, performed tonight, and we'll get ready for Saturday. Yeah, um, I mean, just these last two games, back-to-back -back wins, just, what's just been different, you know, over the last week or so to get you back in the win column? You know, I, just, I felt, let's back up, the Old Dominion game, you could kind of see it happening because we very well could have won that game. So we have the Old Dominion game, we have some energy coming into that game. And then who do we have next? James Madison. James Madison, number one team in the league. And we played them to the end. Yes, the score didn't reflect that because we got into the foul trouble. But it was just, we could just see it. And again, I thought we played well um, tonight against uh, Georgia State. I always want to call them Georgia Southern. Um, our struggle has been... And that's where I think we made a great stride. Our struggle has been is guarding the three ball. And we've really worked hard. We've even done drills that you probably would do in football, get in the middle of the lane and timing them to get to that shooter, letting them know their times. Uh, because it's what, when you don't understand always the game, you're not, you've never been taught or you don't have it in you to make reads. You just, when the ball gets there, you're there. And so with our three ball shooting, if you get there when it gets there, it's too late. You gotta arrive before the ball arrives. So we've really tried to work on that. And I've not even looked at their three ball shooting. You know, they were three of seven, two of six, one of three, three of seven. And those three guards really can shoot the basketball extremely well. So we are continuing to work to do a much better job so that we'll have an opportunity to guard the three ball. Because the games we lost, that was the issue. Coast Carolina, you know, Marshall here, Old Dominion. It's just kind of been our Achilles heel. And so as a staff, we've studied it. Um, they've pulled all the three balls that were made in our matchup zone, all three balls made in transition. So we spent a lot of time this week actually studying them of where people are, why is she there, how can we get out of there quicker. Um, night before last, we stayed up here with our matchup zone to late, trying to make wrinkles out of it to help us be better at guarding the three ball. We even reached out to Donnie Tindall and got some input on it. So uh, it could get better. We decided, we thought they could learn it in one day. No, we were too bold. So and there will be some adjustments we will make as time goes on. It's just gonna take us a little time. And then tonight, you know, you go down eight in the second quarter, but then something kind of changed or flipped. I, what, what do you think? I thought Nala Jean. I thought she was the key there. She came in, brought us tremendous energy, and everything flipped. And that's what we tell them all the time. All we need is one spark. One spark. And if you can make a spark, then you, you have an opportunity to be a game changer. And it, all it takes is one spark. You know, people throw cigarettes out the window and the pine straw when it's dry. That one spark is going to cause the fire, fire is called forest fire. And I mean, playing against her former team too. Tonight, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And I was concerned she'd be a little nervous because she and Tolliver, their best player, has known each other forever. They've played against each other. They played on the same club team. So they've known each other. But I thought, I thought it kind of sealed the deal when she missed the free throw and was able to get the offensive rebound. Yeah, at the very end. Yeah.
And how about Malia Grace, I believe? Wow. Career high rebounds? Unbelievable. Yes. You know, again, I, and I told Jason Baker in, early is, you know, Malia's always the gentle giant. She's always the most respectful. She's always the one that wants to help. You know, she's just an amazing young lady. Um, her parents have done a phenomenal job with her. Never disrespectful. I can yell at her, a coach can yell at her, and she says, yes, ma'am, or yes, sir. She is who your perfect child would be like. Our concern has always been, is when she steps on the floor sometimes, she's that still nice person. And we've all talked to her a lot about finding the dog within. You gotta find your dog within, because when you find the dog within, there's nobody to guard you. And you kind of see that develop. She did a lot of extra work, chair drills and those things over the break. And I just think right now she's developed some confidence and uh, she's made some good buckets. We've got good passes to her, but I'm gonna tell you on the flip side, she's created her own shot many times. And I think that's the biggest change. I wanted to also ask you about your health just cause it's been a while since I've talked to you about it. Just how are you feeling right now? Well, I had um, a reaction to my Keytruda, which is my maintenance drug. Um, it was attacking my body rather than attacking the cancer. The thing that hurt me was I have severe leg pain and throwing up. That was my side effects. So that's been a battle, but I had just had a CAT scan, CAT scan. So we're waiting to get some finalizations on that. And hopefully we'll have that by next week. Are you done though with chemo therapy? Well, we got to decide because we're I, not Rapatha, Keytruda. I get that in my blood pressure where I get shots in my stomach mixed up. My uh, Keytruda, we've got to decide. Do I keep taking it? Is there something I can take to stop my side effects? You know, like I've been taking Neurotin. I've been taking pain pills, uh, steroids. That's just since last week. But, you know, we just don't know any answers. Are you feeling a little bit better though than say that you were in the fall because you're not doing chemotherapy at this moment or is it That's kind of better. Sense? It's just this Keytruda just hit yeah. me mm -hmm. and I took it three weeks ago. So that's all weird yeah. that it hits you later. I was really feeling good, but this is gonna knock me down. Mm -hmm. And it's also just a quick turnaround for your team playing what? Saturday, I think at noon. What right? noon? ULM was just gonna be the key to that game. You know, number one, we gotta contest the three ball shot. We got to keep them in front of us, and that's hard sometimes to contest a three ball shot and do that. We've got to dominate the glass. We have to dominate the glass, take care of the basketball because they don't press, and make bunny shots. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Sal.